Hi, little guy. Where are you? Hi. You turned white and there's no snow. What are you doing? Is that your hole? You living there in the winter? You could hunt mice by my cabin. That wouldn't bother me any.
everyone. Thank you for joining me. I'm out at the cabin today. Um, it's early December. There's virtually no snow on the ground and it's about, well, let's see what this temp says. It says 45. So that's spectacular weather for this time of year. Um, usually it's, it's very rare that we have weather like this in early December. So anyway, I'm enjoying it. Um, I'm out here during the week. Um, I'm hooking up my solar panel. Actually, the solar panels were up in the last video. Um, and the wiring, it's simple wiring. You know, they're wired in parallel. And they go to a, a voltage controller, actually a solar controller inside the cabin. And then that charges the battery. That's the thinking anyway. Now, normally, um, I use a generator when I need power when I'm out here. But it would be nice, you know, to have uh, a way to charge everything up without running the generator constantly. Um, the generator doesn't take a lot of, a lot of juice or, or a lot of gasoline or anything, but you know, it does, uh, it, it just, it's, you can always hear it, I guess, in the background. It's nice and quiet out here right now without it. So, um, as you can see, if you look past me here, uh, the solar panels are bathed in sunlight and uh, we'll go inside, look at the controller here in a minute. Um, basically, I'm thinking we got about four hours this time of year, five hours to charge. Maybe we only have about eight or nine hours total light anyway. And, you know, it's got to be past noon. Looks like from about noon to four. Well, I had probably four hours because it's dark. You know, and I would think first couple hours in the afternoon would be the best uh, for this. So now uh, this time of year, like I said, we're almost the shortest day of the year. And uh, I don't expect it to keep up. Um, I'm hoping once we get past, you know, the, the uh, equinox in the spring and the fall, uh, I'm hoping uh, that six months of the year, it'll help uh, keep everything topped up when I'm out here. So that's the goal. Now, does it work? I don't know. The, my biggest problem is I don't have a ton of light hitting the ground here. Uh, which is kind of nice because it's it is the woods and it's uh in the summer it's quite thick but that spot is about the only spot close that actually gets sun even on top of the cabin uh, you don't get a whole lot and if you put panels up there that makes for some more trouble so anyway we'll uh we'll go inside and take a look like i said out here i just have a two battery uh, lead acid batteries uh, these are deep cycle bolt battery types um they're They'll actually, they, if you charge them up with the generator, they'll last a couple days before they go dead, at least running the lights. I mean, I've got LED lights inside. The wood stove fan takes a little bit more, um, you know, because it's on all the time. But, you know, it's not that much. So let's go inside and take a look at the controller. There, we're, we're inside the cabin. Um, it's actually... Temperature-wise, take a look. It's like 75 in here, but like I said, it's not that cold outside, so it doesn't take a whole lot of wood to heat this place. Um, here's a voltage controller. I'll zoom in on it in a minute. Right now, we're pushing, we're charging at about a rate of 2 amps, um, and I'm, I'm thinking we're getting close to, you know, 50% sunlight on there. I don't know what the maximum will be. This time of year, it's probably going to be pretty low. So here, I'll show you. Let's zoom in on that. So yeah, you can see we're getting about two amps out of it. Um, of course, it's just it's a it's a Rover uh, voltage controller, and uh, everything I've read about them, they they actually work. Uh, supposedly, they work pretty well. So and this one does. I mean, so far, and I've only had it in a couple days now, and actually, this is the first day when I've had enough sun to actually test it out. So, let's look to see what we're getting for voltage. But yeah, it's 2 amps coming in. It does your temperature. Your percentage of batteries are at 47% right now. And 12.1 volts at the battery. Now 24 degrees centigrade in here. Yep, 12.1. So that's the voltage at the batteries. So I do think I have one battery possibly that's kind of monkeyed up. But uh, 
anyway that's basically what you got the uh, controller like I said it, it checks everything um, right now the panels are kicking about 20 volts so you know that that's pretty good and uh, that's why you're getting a couple amps too so uh, I don't know the maximum voltage is 24 you know so it, it's not too bad actually considering but uh yeah and i know i've read a lot of different stuff the, the solar panels work better when it's cool or not super cold but cool and of course direct sunlight so unfortunately in this area here it's pretty filtered so yeah those are uh polycrystalline we'll go take a look at them yet basically the solar panels and uh, out here that'll be a challenge to keep them clean too I guess every time I come out I probably have to wipe them down I don't know. haven't figured it all out yet but uh, yeah so you can see right now the sun and we got you know looks like a couple hours of sunlight left at the very most so yeah this time of year you know ain't much you can do about it uh, northern hemisphere and quite a ways north it's probably better the further south you go but uh, at any rate this is what I did and um, the only other thing I can think of is I was reading through the uh, solar controller I'd like to mention the fact that you can't uh, just drop a charger on the batteries while it's hooked up to the controller and I don't know that they must be afraid it's going to overload because the batteries will get too high so I'm assuming then you have to disconnect when you're going to charge. So that's something to be aware of if you're going to do a setup like this at anybody's, you know, however you do it. Um, that controller actually has a second input. So it's honestly made to do a solar set of solar panels, a solar array, and probably like a wind turbine or a wind generator. But there again, that's something that has to go through the controller. It can't go to the, you know, it can't go directly to the battery. And for me, I usually use a generator, so I can't go directly to the batteries with the generator, so which is okay. Just so everybody knows that. Um, other than that, I can't think of anything else I'd like to say about it. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a video next summer uh, when I got more light and we can really tell um, where we're at, you know, with uh, the charge rate and stuff and the amount of, uh, of amperage and the amount of juice basically pumped into the batteries so um, other than that that's all i've got for you today and uh would you like uh, subscribe and share this video and uh you know leave me a comment have added in the comments i'd like to hear what you got going on um, with anybody who's building a cabin or has a an off-grid setup but actually these you could put on a camper i see the people that live in vans I mean, they do a they do a, you know, a little more complicated setup probably, uh, but they're actually living in it. Well, this is a recreational thing for me, so you know I don't have to live here. But uh, not that I wouldn't like it actually. Um, it is pretty nice, but uh, you know we all have a a real life, and then we have a, a recreational life, I guess. So something to look at it that way. So thank you for watching. Uh, we'll catch you in the next one.